Good afternoon, passengers. Welcome to bus 2905. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is my first day on the job, and we are going to have some fun. Nothing like a, uh, a nice, you know, California cliffside cruise to, to learn how to drive a big rig of, of this magnitude. So, uh, yeah, welcome back to some more BeamNG. I am so excited about this game. This is kind of a random campaign mission I found, and uh, we're we're whipping a bus. I have never driven a bus before. Always a good first day to start it. I'm going to see how much we can push it. Can we screech the tires a little bit? Okay, so she, she needs, I mean, can we supercharge her? She needs a little bit more torque here. But, uh, yeah, guys, welcome back to Beam, dude. I, look at this setup. Uh, I am, as you guys can see, very excited about this game. Ooh, there's a bomb on board! So slow down, stay above 34 miles an hour. I've seen this movie. Okay, well, um, we gotta hit our checkpoints too. All right, 15 miles an hour limit. Well, we are just gonna have to make sure that we stay above that. Come on, go, 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 Okay, I'm sorry. So I've considered playing American Truck Simulator in the past, and it's still something that's kind of on my list. I've also seen there's a European bus simulator where you like drive around and pick up passengers. It looks really chill. And I thought we were getting a little taste of that to start things off here, but obviously this game has something a, a little bit different in mind. I'm not even sure how we're gonna keep our speed up through that corner. I did see, I think we might be able to go to the right here. Let's swing this thing wide and see what we could do. Maybe slow down a little bit. Don't go into it too hot. But yeah, if we swing it right and then swing it back left. Got to roll through the corner. Got to get our speed up. 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 We're good. Rescue incoming. All right. Here we go. You want to take the corner probably a little. Oh, my. It's it's like a full eight. Like, the eight seconds is all you have. Like, it doesn't reset. You get eight seconds and you're done. This is going to have to be pure perfection, dude. I don't even know if we're going to be able to do this. That That is kind of a game changer. I'm not having a hard time keeping it between the lines as is. But, yeah, guys, welcome back to Beam, dude. This setup, my setup right now, I'm so proud of it. Got the green screen set up. It's looking pretty good. I feel like there are a couple of changes I'm going to make, but I uh, love that you guys can kind of see some of the wheel. You can see me. You can see all the gameplay. I think it looks amazing. So, oh, there's the bomb back there. Ah, okay. I see what you mean. So that bomb's going to count down. Okay. It's going to count down as soon as we get under 30. Skirt. Under 32. Come on. We got three seconds left, two seconds left. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to cut this corner. We gotta roll this. Oop, I paused it. How are we gonna make that corner right there? As long as we get around that corner, we're on the interstate, we're fine. Come on. God! Trev, you have a bus full of tourists. And you've got to save some lives here, buddy. All right, we really need to slow down this section, I think. This is one of our, our tough parts. So if we slow it down here and don't screech the tires too much. Wasn't our smoothest, but we're okay. We've actually had a lot better than that. I'm going to come around through here. We're going to take a little bit more of that first corner. Roll this. Yes. Yes. Pull alongside the rescue truck. Yes, Trev. Come on, baby. You want me in the right lane or the left lane? How do you want this? I got you. All right. Getting all the passengers off. Oh, 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 oh. Slow it down. Slow it down. Uh, we got an issue here, sir. I'm going to have to pull in front of you. Let's do this together. I'm not going below 30. What is 34? Where are you, sir? Sir, I really don't like getting close to the 30s. Here we go. Okay, all the passengers are rescued. That's all we care about, baby. Get the bus to a safe location. What are we gonna do? Just like yeet it off a coast or something? Like off a cliff? Jump out at the last minute? Fast and the Furious style? Oh gosh, okay. See, I'm a little bit nervous. I think speed is, is not necessarily our friend here. I am thankful that the cops have been able to uh, remove all of the other civilians from the road. No potential collateral damage. 
We want to make sure we keep this thing. I mean, you got to stay close enough that you're not getting yourself in trouble here. You don't have some sort of a sharp corner or something where you go skidding and then that's that's the end of old Trevor. Here we go. Oh, there's a big curve coming up. Are you freaking kidding me? What kind of BS? You guys don't have a better plan than this? You don't have a better plan than this? You want me to take a hard corner at the end? What? Can you tell me why we can't just like put a rock or like a stick onto the gas and just let this thing go and then we jump off just like the passengers did onto that truck? I feel like this is above and beyond here. I mean, there's nobody else on the freeway. Let's just let this thing blow. Don't mind me, just probably driving to my death again. Not a big deal here. Just blowing red lights. You know, these traffic tickets aren't gonna end up being paid. We need to take this corner super wide and we've gotta hold it the, the biggest thing is holding it around that 34, like 35 mile an hour range. Sew it down, try to get it around there. I don't understand how I'm gonna make this happen. I really don't. Where, where's the ending? Okay, so there are two like directions you can take here. You can go straight or you can go over to the right. I'm gonna try going right. Oh, this was the play. Are you kidding me? Full speed down the LA River, baby, down the drain. GTA trained me for this, bailing out. I was an idiot. It's my fault. I, I, was, I was trying to do the most. I was trying to go the long way. I was trying to make it hard on myself. That was the way to do it. Okay, so I thought that bus one was going to be kind of a, uh, you know, a nice Sunday cruise. I think that's what we're getting here. It's just going to be at, at really, really high speeds. This is the Centella, Centrella, something like that. And sh Okay. Oh. Well, that's not good. You know, I don't think running into somebody right off the bat is the best strat. So I'm just, uh, I'm going to fall in line here. Let's see what we've got going on. Maybe, maybe try to get up into second place. I think we were carrying too much speed into that corner anyway. Got to break, 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 break. There it is. Nice and clean. More braking. Pretty tight area through here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dude, we've got 16 total checkpoints to get through. I don't like the tunnels. I, I can I can deal with it out here. Bad time to switch the camera trap. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is a lot more challenging than I thought. Everything is so realistic in this game, dude. I thought we were just gonna be able to fly down a highway at 150 and be fine. Obviously, that is not the case. Watch that curb. Took a little bit of curb there. I just kind of want to ooh see like right there. That's a little. That's a little rough. Oh, I, we've got we've got some damage. We've got some damage. We've got a decent amount of damage. Yeah, it should buff out. We've got another tunnel ahead of that. So you, I mean, oh, that's all she had. I was gonna say we're still driving. We need fast starts, and then we really need to be brake heavy. Honestly, and this thing is is very finicky. I'm going to see if we can muscle these guys out of the way in the start. Let's take the line, and then we'll just... Dude, these things are hard to drive. But if we are if we have the front line here, we should be all right. Just brake heavy into the corners, accelerate heavy out of it. Granted, these guys knew the, the route we were taking. Obviously, I didn't. We know we've got a left-hander into a tight section up here. So we're going to be able to slow down in time through here little bit of curb, but that's okay. I mean, it's honestly in a car like this, probably not the best scenario, but that's okay. Coming through here. We know we've got a fairly sharp right. We need like a, uh, a right up over crest left, whatever. We're fine. Just a little piece of wall back there. Just a long, a long streak along the wall. That's fine. It's like that's blocked off. We're going to have to go left. I mean, have you guys heard of a drift tap? This is this is a drift streak. A nice drift streak along the entire thing back there. How are we looking? We lost a mirror. We're at checkpoint 11 out of 16. I see. I wish we had like some sort of a mini map or something. I want to go fast, but I don't want to go too fast. Just trying to keep it between the lines here. 13. We don't have a mini map, right? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. To the right. We're fine. One checkpoint left. Come on, baby. Let's go. I think we got him. 
Just kidding, that's not it. We got one more after that, but I think we definitely got him. I don't even see him behind us. There's just a giant trail of smoke behind us. We'll take it, dude. Holy cow. Wait. Oh, we've got two laps. Well, I don't think we're going to be making that call. I didn't realize there were two laps. Good enough. We got him on lap one. Okay, so from one extreme to the other, we're going from asphalt fast, just craziness into a little bit of rock crawling here. Just scuffing up the underbody there. We're going to be fine. Let's see. Uh, I mean, there's not really much we can see inside, so I'm probably going to spend most of my time outside of here. This is going well. I think we just need to commit a little bit more here. So I'm I'm gonna go right off the rip here so as not to mess up our, our underbody. Okay. And then I think we need a little bit more tire. We need to kind of split the gap here. Okay. Good. The easiest part of the challenge, you have gotten by it. Congratulations, Trevor, I am extremely proud. Okay, just gonna keep going up this way. Honestly, the first person view does help some to be able to see, you gotta get around that thing there. Oh my goodness, what are you doing to me? Gotta commit. Bro, who, who would do this? I actually think it'd be really fun. I have, oh! I've taken my Jeep on some off-roading trails. Obviously, nothing even remotely close to this. We don't have anything like this in Florida. We have, like, mud and stuff. It's still fun, but it's not as epic as this. Look at the flex on that. All right, we're going to back this up a little bit. Ooh, not too much. How do we want to approach this? I think we want to go around that. Just keep it nice and tight. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous, dude. What in the world? Okay, let's line ourselves up. Line ourselves up. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just keep it close to the wall here, Trev. Keep it close to the wall, but not too close that it bumps you off. Close to the wall. Kind of getting away from the wall a little bit. You're okay. Just don't look down. Just don't look down. Oh my god, dude. What is this game? What is this? This is amazing. Hit this straight on. Get across. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, the suspension on this thing is incredible. Okay, this is getting a little bit hairy. I'm assuming we want to try to get all four tires up on this. I'm going to back this up. Let's get as, as much along the edge here so we can try to get all four tires up. Well, that didn't really work out. Okay. I just don't want to roll. Oh, we're good. Okay, let me let me straighten this out. I just didn't want to didn't want to roll there. I, I wanted to try to commit all four tires. We didn't we didn't need to. We're good. Don't mess this up here at the end, Trev. Keep her nice and tight. Hold on. And I think we made it, baby. At least for the first part. I don't know what else you could have me. Do. You want me to go up this? Is that the finish line right there? You want me to go up this? I don't even know how to do that. Do you, do you gun it? Or do you... I think you go straight... How would I do that? How would you How would you want me to do that? I think this is where we found our resting place. I don't know what you want me to do there. I think we needed more speed, whatever it was. I think a restart brings us all the way back to the very start. So uh, I'm going to say that's a tentative win. I'm not sure how you would get over this part, but, um, you know, kind of a cool little roadblock here. I like it. You know, blood is kind of rushing to one side of my head, but uh, hopefully the boys are going to be here soon 
with the uh, the winch. So I'm going to see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want more beam, let me know. I'm really proud of this setup. Really excited about this. So hoping to do more driving content on this game and other games. Still need to figure out exactly how to find the fun stuff on this game. So if you guys have any questions or, or suggestions, I mean, uh, please leave them down below. And um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.